What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Ultimate Beginner's Guide. In this video, we're gonna be checking out Seracnus, which is a mid-level spider boss. The requirements for this are not too high and it can be very easily done on mid-level accounts. So let's go ahead and check it out. First thing is first, your recommended stats for doing the Seracnus boss are gonna be pretty low. Like I said, this is mid-level content. As for an attack level, you probably want to have around level 70, and this will give you options to a variety of weapons, which we'll check out later. Strength level, probably 80 to give you some decent DPS, and your defense level should be around 70 as well, just to have a little bit of extra defense against Arachnus' attacks, as well as some different gear that you can wear. You'll also want to have a magic level of around 65 just for a little bit of magic defense. Seracnus does have a mechanic where you will be taking some magic damage. And for prayer, you'll probably want to have around level 70 for the piety prayer. All of these stats, if you had these exact stats, you'd be somewhere in the area of around 95 combat. Up next, we will get into a little bit of background information about Seracnus. Seracnus is a giant spider with a combat level of 318 and a hit points level of 400. Seracnus's max hit is 31 and it attacks with melee and ranged. This spider will not poison you. As for Seracnus's more dedicated stats, 400 hit points, level 200 attack, level 240 strength, level 150 defense, 150 magic, and 300 ranged. As for the defensive stats, plus 60 to stab, plus 40 to slash, plus 10 to crush, plus 150 to magic, and plus 300 to range. Now with that plus 10 to crush, that is where we're going to want to be at. You will want to be using some sort of crush styled weapon, which I will go over now. On the screen now we can see our gear progression items from the most effective all the way down to the least effective and if you'd like to see this outside of the video you can check it out on the wiki page. So as for your best in slot items obviously it's going to be the slayer helmet if you are on task but other than that a serpentine helm, amulet of torture, infernal cape, carol's leather top, bando's tacits or the inquisitor's plate skirt, Scythe of Vitor, Avernic Defender, Rada's Blessing 4, Ferocious Gloves, Primordial Boots, Brimstone Ring, and your special attack weapon would be Dragon Claws. As for the gear that I will be using, in my typical fashion, I will be going for lesser tiered gear just to show that it can be done, especially for those players who want to get into bossing but think that they need the most expensive gear. Well, you don't. So as for me, what I'm going to be going with is the Helm of Knot, Amulet of Glory, Fire Cape, Fighter Torso, Carol's Leather Skirt. As for my weapon, I will be using the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. I will be using an Advernic Defender because I don't currently have a Dragon Defender. I upgraded mine, obviously, but if you have a Dragon Defender, use that. I will be using the Rada's Blessing 4, but any blessing will work. Pharaoh's Gloves, Dragon Boots, the Berserker's Ring imbued, and my special attack weapon will be the Crystal Halberd. As for my inventory setup, we will go over that very quickly. I have one Divine Super Combat Potion, which will last you 20 minutes of boosted stats with a 4 dose, but if you don't have Divines, you can use a normal one. 5 Super Restore Potions, 19 Manta Rays, but you can also use Sharks or some sort of other high healing food. My special attack weapon, the Crystal Halberd, and the next item is the Wilderness Sword 4, which has a 100% chance to slash spider webs. You will need to slash some on your way to Seracnus, so you will need some sort of slash weapon. You could just take a knife, an abyssal whip if you have it, a dagger, anything will work, and house teleports to get myself to Seracnus and get myself back out. So now that you're all geared up and ready to go, let's find out how to get there. There are two good ways to get there. The first being with the Xerix Talisman. You can use the Talisman to teleport to the Xerix Glade and then run to the west, enter the dungeon there. Alternatively, you can also move your house to the Karend portal and use a house teleport and exit your house and run up towards the northwest and enter the dungeon. Once you enter the dungeon, you can begin making your way directly south following the highlighted path here on the map. Once you arrive at Seracnus' chamber, you can hang out outside and prepare yourself for the fight. And now we can move into Seracnus mechanics. The first mechanic or ability that Seracnus possesses is going to be the Healing Strike. Seracnus' basic attacks will heal her when they hit successfully. So if you are not praying correctly or not at all, if she does hit you, they will be indicated by a magenta hit splat. She will heal 5 health for every successful melee attack and 10 health for every successful ranged attack, regardless of how much damage is actually dealt. The next mechanic is going to be the sticky webs. Every 4 standard attacks, Seracnus will screech out a hiss and shoot a sticky web that will leave you rooted to where you are standing. Seracnus will then move a short distance away where she will not attack you while she is moving, so this will give you plenty of time to switch your prayers. 
The final Seracnus mechanic is going to be the spawns. When Seracnus reaches 66 and 33% health, she will summon two spawns of Seracnus. There is a level 68 that uses magic and a level 107 that uses melee. They both have 30 health. Now, if you are using lower tiered gear as I am in this video clip, then I would suggest that you actually kill both of the spawns because they will hit through the prayer, especially when you're walking away from Seracnus to pray range, the melee can chunk you a pretty good amount of damage. But if you are using best in slot gear or something close to, you can just tank both of them and finish out the kill. So now we're at the point of the video where we will go through a kill example and I will give you guys live commentary as I'm going through the kill, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing and learn how to do it yourself. All right, so here we are outside the Seracnus lair, and once you cut these webs, you will enter the arena for the fight. I do have my quick prayer set up as protect from melee and piety, uh, but you'll want to actually start off the fight with range since most likely you will be away from Seracnus. So like earlier, every four attacks, Seracnus will spit out those sticky webs. If she is away from you, she will use the range attack. When you are close, she will use melee. So let's go ahead and get this going. I'm gonna go ahead and get a dose of my super combat potion. Protect from range and piety, and I'm going to enter. So from here, switch to, well, sticky webs first, and then switch to melee prayer when I am close to Seracnus. So from here, I will just continue on meleeing until I get another sticky web. So there's that, and range prayer. And back into range of Seracnus, I will switch to melee. And there are the spawns, so I'm going to go ahead and take those out quickly. And she's in melee distance, so you're going to want to be using that melee prayer. And I can get back on Seracnus now. Sticky web, over to range prayer. Get back in range, back to melee prayer. And more spawns, so I'm going to go ahead and kill those. Switch to range prayer since I am away from Seracnus. And back on Seracnus. Melee prayer. And now I can go ahead and finish off the kill, just negotiating the sticky webs when they do come. And that is a completed Seracnus kill. You can see I didn't take that much damage. As long as your prayers are on point, you should be okay. So just for fun, why not? If you guys want to see a best in slot gear setup kill, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Except for the fire cape, because I don't have an infernal cape yet, because I am bad. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I got the Scythe of Vitor and the Dragon Claws for my special attack weapon. I'm actually going to wait until the end of the kill to use the Dragon Claw special attack, just to finish off Seracnus quicker while I have all four spawns. And I'm tanking those. So I'm going to go ahead, pot up, protect from range, piety, and get in there. And that is a best in slot Seracnus kill. Quick, easy. I had to use a little bit of food, but hey, the kills are quick and you can get a lot of kills per hour this way. So that is going to do it guys for the ultimate beginner's guide to Seracnus. I hope that this video can teach you how to successfully kill Seracnus a lot of times. Maybe you can get that pet, a couple cudgels, whatever you want. So I want to thank you guys for watching, but before I get out of here, I have added a couple new designs to my Teespring shop. They are on the screen now. If you like them, you can check the description below for a link to the shop and go grab yourself one. Also, if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up down below. And if you really liked it, you can hit that subscribe button on your way out. Make sure you turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new content. So everybody, thank you again for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.